Um, here I'm going to demonstrate how to identify silicon wafers based on their primary and secondary flats. Um, this image explains the identify, identification of silicon wafers, uh, specifically distinguishes uh, distinguishing different types of wafers based on their uh, crystallographic orientation, we, call, we can call them planes, and doping type. So basically from the primary and secondary flats, uh, we can determine the uh, planes, the, gr the growth planes, and the doping type. Uh, for wafers having diameters less than 150 millimeter or you can say 6 inches, flats on the edge of the wafers are used to indicate both the crystal orientation and the doping type. And we can categor categorize the flats into primary flats as indicated over here. Similarly, uh, in, the, in this uh, image, they are indicated on the right side. These are the primary flats. <clears throat> and uh, the secondary flats, like uh, these ones over here, similar, you can see it over here. The primary flats are bigger, the secondary flats are smaller. Uh, the primary flat is the largest flat on the wafer and helps indicate the wafer's crystal orientation. Similarly, the secondary flat is smaller and it helps identify the doping type, N-type or P-type. Then the, we, have, we can have different flat configurations. For example, a silicon 100 N-type wafer has a primary flat and a secondary flat located at uh, 180 degrees opposite to the primary flat. Um, similarly, silicon 111 p-type uh, wafer. So this uh, we are talking about 100. Let's talk about 100 p-type first as well. Um, similarly, silicon 100 p-type wafer has a primary flat and a secondary flat which is located at 90 degrees relative to the primary flat. Then we have silicon 111 n-type. By the way, this is a typo. It's not a-type, it's n-type. So make a correction over here, please. So silicon 111 n-type um, has a secondary flat which is located at 45 degrees relative to the primary flat. Then silicon 111 p-type wafer only has the primary flat. It does not have the secondary flat. Um, and only the primary flat is used to identify the wafer with no secondary flat, simplifying the identification. So in conclusion, the primary and secondary flats on the silicon wafers are critical for identifying their crystal orientation and doping type. And this uh, mechanism is important for manufacturers during semiconductor device fabrication as different orientation and doping, doping types affect the electrical properties and behavior of the wafers.